Hey, I'm, I'm glad that the Lord sends us a discerning spirit so that we don't have to be treated like Ananias and Sapphira, right? Mm. Holy Spirit, come and be with us now. We need your presence. We need your joy. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that we can expect the same miracles, the same grace, the same peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophet Tina, can we uh, praise God? I, I like that you talked about some of the issues that we faced already in our world in the last few years, where we're talking about things that affect our lives, people that we know that are getting, what do you say, they're getting tricked. And the, the thing that shocks me is how much they're getting tricked wholeheartedly. I mean, they're jumping on board with it. So we want to discern the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you in something about a little different. Okay? Hallelujah. Today we're talking about discernment. But I want to discern the gospel. Okay? There's so many people that get born again or they hear about the gospel uh, from somebody way off. But they really don't understand all the wonderful things that God brings. Hallelujah. You know, after Adam and Eve fell, there were three catastrophes that came our way. Three catastrophes that entered this world. We died spiritually. Adam died spiritually. Excuse me, I just got to stop here for a second. We have it Holy Spirit, we love you, and we need you. Holy Spirit, come, make my eyes to see, make my ears to hear, make my heart to see, and my hands to reach out and touch somebody with your love. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your grace. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes when we think about the gospel, we think about what did happen and what people deal with. Sometimes people don't understand that when the gospel came, Jesus came, hallelujah, to deliver us from sin, from sickness, from poverty, and foolishness.
friends that keep talking about, oh, I think I think that I have some Jewish blood in me. And they, they keep talking about that. But instead of living life and enjoying Jesus, they don't understand fully. What is it? They don't understand fully that Christ came to redeem us. Hallelujah. Christ came to redeem us completely. And that we now have the blessing of Abraham. I don't care what kind of Gentile you are, whether you were born in China or America or Europe, if you have Jesus, you have the blessing of Christ. So how do we appropriate that? That's where we spend time in prayer. That's where we renew our mind in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, that's my time. And I'm going to ask the next person to come up. And I can fix those uh, things if you like. Let the Holy Spirit come. Right now, Heavenly Father, I pray that we would discern your gifts of salvation that we would discern that you have come to heal us and to set us free from the curse and that you would set us free from all sin. For you said, I am the Lord that sanctifies them. So many in the world these days that sanctification is the issue and Jesus came to set us free. I pray right now in Jesus' name that you would discern where you are in Jesus. Hallelujah. That you are sanctified that you are made holy by the blood of Jesus, that by his stripes you are healed and your body can receive that, receive the rhema that God has for, that life-giving word, and receive the breaking of that curse. And that's every curse that comes our way. One of the things that we talked about in our deliverance ministry is we have an understanding of a particular curse or a particular problem or a particular demon. And then next week we talk about a different one. Next month we talk about different ones because the Holy Spirit keeps revealing these things to us. And that's what's so great about Revelation. That's why it's so great about the great deliverance impact because the devil is going to attack us from the left. He's going to attack us from the right. He's going to attack us through our families. And there's one other thing I want to remind us of. When Jesus taught us the, the, what we call the Lord's Prayer, he said... Father, oh, hallelujah, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And at the end of that, he quickly said, because if you don't forgive, then you won't be forgiven either. So for all of us who have fury and anger, all of us that have sin consciousness and don't believe that God could ever change us, I'm going to pray for you. Some of you have poverty consciousness. And the Lord wants you to spend in time in prayer, revealing and meditating on his word, that you have now the blessing of Abraham. Let the Holy Spirit come and indwell you right now in Jesus' name. Let him put a new consciousness in you. And if the devil is involved, we cast them down, we cast them out in the name of Jesus. We cancel those curses in Jesus' name. Uh, there's a great deliverance minister that says, a curse isn't broken until it's broken. So break it. Hallelujah. Jesus paid the price, so break that curse. Every time you hear about a new one, hallelujah, another great scripture is, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, but every word spoken to us in, in judgment we shall condemn. Hallelujah. We are condemning those words because of the blood of Jesus, because of the power of the cross, and because Jesus broke every curse. Hallelujah. Let it become a raiment to you. Hallelujah. And your identity in Christ, hallelujah, means you have the blessing of Abraham. Hallelujah. If you want more blessings, that's when we spend that time in prayer. That's when we plant seeds of, oh, hallelujah. We plant seeds of faith. That's where we give our tithes and offerings. That's where we grow in grace. And the Lord keeps doing blessing and blessing and adds to the church daily, such as those who we say. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't stop blessing God. Let me tell you. Hallelujah. Every minute of the day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
deliverance. So you know that this is the great deliverance impact. And with the word that you're hearing, all right, we want you to, to buy into this, okay? There's a great anointing that's being released for your deliverance, and the anointing is the word of God. All right, you might want somebody hooping and hollering. Mm -hmm. That's not what we do up in here. We present yeah. or but if God tells us to do it, we will do it. But in this time, this anointing, this yeah. grace that God has given to you is coming through his word. All right, we can lay hands on you, and yes, you will be delivered. But we want the word of God, who God sent for your deliverance. Yeah. He said, I would never leave you or forsake you. I'll be with you to deliver you. All right, come on now. If he's never going to leave us or forsake us, guess what? He is with us to deliver us. And it is his word that is eternal. So you get this word. Take your notes. All right? Take notes and go over this. Ask God to deliver you and set you free. Ask God for the gift of the discerning of spirits. You know, you can ask for all those gifts. Whichever one is important. Which one is the most important one? The one that's needed at the time. And when you got demons running around and people telling you words that are lies based on the word of God, you need the discerning of spirits to discern and then to know what to do after that discernment. And so, like I said, there are all kinds of spirits to discern. I talked about the demons. Jonathan talked about discerning the word of God. And now we have Minister David. And he's going to be talking to us about discerning angels. Hallelujah. All right, and you need to know the difference between a good angel and an evil fallen angel. Praise God. <laughs> Minister David. 